Hey guys, what's up? This is my second video in a series comparing accuracy of different half-length darts. If you want to see part one where I have a look at the TPR darts, click the link in the top right corner of the screen. Today I'll be having a look at the Worker Gen 1s, the yellow foam ones, and I'll be testing them from 17 meters away, same as the last video. This means at the end of the video, I'll be able to compare the accuracy of the darts I've already tested compared to the worker darts. I'll be using the same blaster, the same magazine, same spring load, everything is the same. The target, which is 17 meters away or 55 feet for Americans, I'll be scoring based on three things. One, whether the dart hits the white square on the top of the box. Two, whether the dart hits the box itself, which allows for a drop in FPS for some darts. And three, whether the dart misses entirely. Now, I'll actually be doing two tests with the worker darts. I've heard that they're very good without a scar barrel. So first of all, I'll test without a scar barrel for 40 shots, and then I'll test another 40 shots with a scar barrel. Let's begin.
Oh, I trust these darts with the dogs down in there. Okay, so having a look at the results of the worker darts with no scar barrel, we actually missed 57% of our shots, 27% hit the box and only 15 actually hit where we were aiming. If we combine hit and box, that's still only 42% that made their mark on the target. 57.5% completely missed and that's just terrible. In my last test where we looked at the ACC Gen 3 darts, they managed to hit the target 82% of the time and only missed 17.5% of the time. However, let's have a look at the worker darts with a scar barrel. Now the scar barrel's effect on the dart causes it to go low and to the right from where the zero was set. So the first couple of darts do go low and to the right until I start allowing for that.
For these last 10 shots, I decide to aim a lot higher. This is because I realize the worker darts are losing a lot of velocity out of the scar barrel. Okay, so having a look at the final results of the worker darts with a scar barrel, we've got 40% of the darts hit the white square, 47% hit the box, and 12.5% missed. Bear in mind, I did not re-zero the scope after applying the scar barrel, so it took me a couple of shots to get a feel for where the darts were actually going. If we combine hit and box, we get 87.5% were hits, and 125 were misses. This is actually higher than the ACC Gen 3s were. They only got 82% as hits and they had 17.5 as misses. So in conclusion, I'd say the worker darts lose a lot of velocity out of a scar compared to the ACC Gen 3s, and that's why a lot more hit the box. However, if you learn to allow for this, you'll actually get better accuracy out of the worker darts with a scar than the ACC Gen 3s. One more thing I'll mention is that I've ordered some of the Gen 2s, the white foam ones, which are boasted to be even more accurate, so I look forward to testing those in the near future. Thank you for watching.